Spy Family has been going strong for the past year, especially regarding the main trio composed of a doctor, an office worker, and a brat. Nothing special and your typical slice of life anime. And today, I'm gonna start out with the titular man of the household, Lloyd Forger. Lloyd Forger is basically a man who grew up as a war orphan but overcame his limitations to become the Sigma male he is today. Talking about Sigma males, the sculptors at Bandai seem to acknowledge the fact as Lloyd's face possesses the charming and clean hair, the sharp and charming eyes, the pointy nose, and a slim and sleek jawline which oozes high levels of sex appeal. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Besides your typical phase of Lloyd saying, What the hell are you? I'm Batman. You also have a smiling face, or the typical face of a hard-working, loyal husband. A distraught face, which is usually the face of a raising a child. A serious face, when Lloyd is interrogating terrorists. Where's the trigger? Where the trigger is, then you have my permission to die. And a happy smiling face when Lloyd is screening other HIVs. Moving down, Lloyd wears the sexy cocky suit from head to toe alongside a vest and shirt inside to portray Lloyd's Sigma grind set. And the suit is decently detailed with the various buttons on both the abdomen and arms. A golden badge is located on the left chest and a red necktie, a symbol of his past. Can you wipe out that much red? Dracoff's daughter? Sao Paulo? The hospital fire? Your ledger is dripping. It's gushing red, and you think saving a man no more virtuous than yourself will change anything? This is the basest sentimentality. This is a child at prayer. Pathetic! You lie and kill in the service of liars and killers. You pretend to be separate, to have your own code, something that makes up for the horrors. But they are part of you, and they will never go away. And we can't forget about the shiny black boots representing Lloyd's... <laughs> When regarding accessories, Lloyd comes with an impressive assortment as Bandai seems to have put in the effort, unlike their monster arts line. As besides the additional five faces previously mentioned, you have four additional pair of hands. Besides your fists, you have open hands, both casual and operation version, and trigger hands, both casual and operation versions as well, which is extremely loose and can hardly hold Lloyd's trusty 9mm PPK pistol. Looking closely at the PPK, the mold is crafted with love as the engravings are explicitly portrayed alongside slight color variations, making it perfect for CQB and undercover assignments. Regarding size, Yoru is on the tall side as he stands at about 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches, but such size may be due to Lloyd being a Caucasian male or in short, white. Yes, Lloyd Forger next to Gumpla. I Toys Godzilla, Star Wars Black Series, and Figma. Returning to the world of articulation, the SH Figas line, while famous for the range of movements, when compared to the likes of Figma and even Bandai's Gunpla line, is limited. But nonetheless, it is far better than the line of Kaiju and Star Wars Black Series. The head is literally an anti aircraft gun, able to turn various angles. The neck, similarly, follows the head and is extremely poseable. Shoulders can lift fairly well, especially with the cap paws concealing any or most open parts. The elbows can bend to 90 degrees, fair range of movement for the hands, there is a split between the chest and abdomen but movement is non-existent, legs have a decent stretch, knees can bend 90 degrees, limited feet movement, and a toe bend. In conclusion, the SH Figas Lloyd Forger is a decent figure in which the sculpt is good alongside the accessory department being a bang. And while there aren't any huge criticisms regarding the figure, somehow it doesn't seem to reach the massive heights such as the sculpt in the Hyatt Toys Godzilla or the articulation found in Ryder. 
making Discald more or less mid and possessing a ranking of B. Moving to the <laughs> If I need your body, I'll fucking of the household, you're looking into the skull. You're just like Lloyd it is a beauty to behold, both figuratively and literally. We of course have the beautiful, sleek, and black hair that represents her heritage, and unlike Lloyd, is in pure Aryan. Troops! She's here to contaminate the Aryan race! Take her away! But nonetheless, it's beautiful, especially with the golden or bronze? Uh I can't tell because I'm slightly colorblind. Rose Hair Ribbon, which lives up to yours code name, Kibari Hime, or in English, Thorn Princess. Look at the face, yours is truly a beauty as it is beautifully rendered, where the 2D face is naturally implemented into the 3D sculpt, showing true Figma level quality. The blood red eyes are well portrayed alongside the petite nose and the sleek and slim jawline. But this isn't the only face as you'll hear comes with four additional faces. There's your serious face, which is usually shown when Yor is in combat, and there's your shocked face when Yor realizes she's fucked up. An open smiling face, which portrays Yor's usually happy nature, and bloodlust, unless you're in China, and a crying face with tears dripping down. Moving down, Yor has a neckwear, which goes through her upper torso, And the rest of the dress is also beautiful, with the separate lines actually playing a role as they split apart when moving below the bell. And the inside of the dress is decorated with blood red roses, something that hasn't been previously seen in the figure arts line, and makes your a unique kit. The legs are also beautifully rendered, with the thighs being thick, alongside the leggings blending well with the skin, and the high heels are perfect for puncturing holes into hostiles. But not everything is perfect as the shoulder joints are evident for the world to see which could have been alleviated through additional pieces as seen in Lloyd. But the most disappointing aspect is the lack of details embedded on the panties as it is the plainest panties I have ever seen and a low blow compared to the rest of the figure. Or is it just me that loves panty details? When observing the accessory department, Yor is also impressive as just like Lloyd Forger, Yor comes with a decent assortment. Besides the faces previously mentioned, Yor comes with two additional pair of hands. Besides the fists, there's her open hands, perfect for the Oscars, and holding hands, which unlike Lloyd, is perfect for holding her melee weapons. The spikes, which are perfect tools for elegant kills intended on puncturing the vital organs and arteries of specific targets. Talking about size, your range is at about 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches, which is tall for an anime woman. But then again, she is a MILF, so... <laughs> Here's your next two, Gunpla, Kaiju Figures, Star Wars Black Series, and Figma. When looking at yours, posability, it's where the fun begins. The head and neck, just like Lloyd, is an anti-aircraft gun. You know what she did? <laughs> Your canting daughter? The shoulder movement is great. Elbow bend is better than Lloyd. Longside better hand movement. Torso movement is better than Lloyd, but nothing special. Legs have an impressive split, but is inhibited by the dress. Better knee movement than Lloyd. Limited feet movement. And a toe bend. So, how's your overall? Well, she's an improvement upon Lloyd as besides minor updates such as the articulation, the dress alongside the details embedded within are superb and more akin to high-end thickness. Not to mention the accessories being better suited, especially the main armaments and the respective hands. With that said, I would say if you can only afford one, then I would prefer your and give her a ranking of B+.